um, not long arrived in uh, Gizo. So it's a beautiful place. I'm staying at Fat Boys. I'm going to um, give you a tour of my room. I'm just going to show you from the beach first. Um, it's absolutely beautiful here. Got to walk through the water to get around this boat. Um, my room actually comes with a boat. This is, this is my boat here. And um, this is my view, as you can see behind me. And I have my own little private beach. And that's one way up to my room, as you can see. I'll go out into the water a little bit so you can see. Oop. If I go out along the jetty, I get to the. Oop. I get to the um, actual like the bar and restaurant which is over there so that's my room so I'll take you up the proper way right go back through the so actually no we'll go up we'll go up the stairs here so I don't have to walk around that boat again so just going up the stairs to my room So as you can see, that's the view that I have, and this is my room. Might be a bit dark, got another set of stairs to go up. Um, so that's the way you'd normally come in, just through this little gate here. Just through this little gate here, up the track there. So, first thing you see is I've got my own hammock just here so I can lay there and look out at my view and then go into my bedroom this is my bedroom it's beautiful no air conditioning but it does have a fan uh, um, bathroom bathroom's really cute toilet shower like a little hut and um, well, I can have more people here if I wanted to so it can sleep five five people a couple and three singles and then I come out the other side so the tea and coffee making stuff nice fridge um, awesome cup coffee cups look at the size of these Awesome. Get sick of travelling with small coffee cups. And so, back down the stairs towards the beach. And I have a little table and chairs here. As you can see. And I can actually sit here. And look at my view. It's absolutely beautiful. Really cheap too. 200 and 40 Australian for two nights, breakfast included. Um, unfortunately, I'm here by myself. It's sort of would be nice with a loved one or something like that. And there's my boat. Probably take that out in the morning. Um, it comes with the room. All I have to do is pay for the fuel, but it's only a small engine, so it won't won't go through a lot of fuel. Yeah, so I think I might go for a swim. Um, Gonna go snorkeling with the sharks after. There's sharks just out, just out there by the resort. So I'll go snorkeling about I don't know, probably six, seven o'clock or something. Hopefully they're not scared of me, or more of the point, I'm not scared of them. So um, over the next day or so, I'll try and get the drone up. I reckon I'll get some good shots. So yeah, this is Fat Boys. Beautiful spot. Actually, I might walk you out to the. Um, to the restaurant area because uh, that'll be where I fly the drone from a bit of a walk around as you can see I'm in a, in a like a jungle type environment palm trees all that sort of stuff uh, it's beautiful you can see the other side of the island just through there I can see the sea 
there's coconut trees everywhere. I don't know if you can see that this coconut's up in that one, coconut's up in these other ones. Uh, nice little track up there. And apparently there's a few walks in that you can do here, they'll obviously be short ones because the island's not very big. It's bloody beautiful. There's another little track down here. Yeah, I just can't believe that there's places like this around. It's been their whole life just stuck in the shitholes that we live in and don't even get out and explore. This is absolutely beautiful. It's like a little cave I'm coming up to. No, it's not really a cave, just a crevice really. Have a look at that. So as you can see that's that's the bar and restaurant over there. You see how clear the water is? Uh, the boardwalk's a little bit slippery, but it's okay. Probably do a bit more walking on that tomorrow. Oh, this is just... Fuck. Apparently it's owned by a um, Australian fella that lives on North Stradbroke Island. Uh, look at this. This is just like totally amazing. There's another view of the bar and restaurant. I reckon I'm going to get some good drone shots. I've already got a couple planned in my head. I'm well enough away from the airport. I couldn't fly it at Munda because the uh, no fly zone because the airport was quite close. And they've got lights all the way along here so you could walk this at night and I imagine it would be quite nice. Oh Jesus. This must be a Dera one or something, this one that I'm coming up to. It's got its own it's got its own jetty. Apparently it's only me and another fella staying here at the moment. It's the off season. Look at this one. And there, that one's got air conditioning, I can see it. Own jetty. That island you can see over there, I think I'll probably go at that tomorrow in the um, in the little boat that they give me. So, here's the resort. Well guys, I'm going to probably go now. A bit of a swim or something. Unpack, get settled. Um, first impressions of Fat Boys. I'm in heaven. I really am. The water's clean, there's no rubbish. It's just... Oh, I'll be back. So if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe and like it, so hit that notification thing so you get notified when I do a new video. And um, yeah, once again this is Fat Boys Resort. Um, they will pick you up from the airstrip in a boat. But I was a little bit too independent today and got my own boat. I didn't know they'd pick you up. And um, I ended up in Gizo, which is where I thought Fat Boys was, but Fat Boys is not actually in Gizo. So if you come here, don't make the same mistake as I do did. Just um, yeah, tell them you want to go to Fat Boys right from the start. So well worth it, guys. Absolutely well worth it. Highly recommended. So, and on that note, I'll see you in the next video. See you.